Hi, this is Rob. Welcome to Longevity Learning Lab. Today I'm going to show you the difference between using oxygen acetylene torch for cutting or our plasma force cut 40. Now, there's different kinds of material that one can cut and the other one can't. So I'll show you that process here in just a minute. But the main thing I want to really stress to you guys is about safety and uh, your environment when you do use the cutting materials and the processes. Uh, you got to watch out for things that are going to catch fire, obviously. Have an extinguisher around here, obviously. But the, the most important thing is your own personal protection. Okay? So what you want to do is have your, the right kind of gloves. You know, nice heavy gloves. Something that's not going to be too close to your hands when it gets hot. Eye protection. That's the big thing. So you got the right shade of lenses. Okay? So this is a regular cutting lens through a pair of glasses. It's a uh, number nine. It's a lighter shade. Then you got your face protection. So you got your clear mask if you want. But then you can also have your darkened mask. And that's better because then if you're, you have to reading glasses or whatever, it's just more comfortable. Myself, with our new hoods we got here with the auto darkening, You've got the settings to where you can have it for grinding or you can go from 9 to 13 on your shades and plus you got your face protection. That's what I'm going to use today. But what we're going to be doing is cutting some aluminum, some stainless steel, and some mild steel. And I'll show you how each process will cut that material. And I'll get my stuff on and uh, we'll get right to it. Okay, first off we're going to use oxygen acetylene torch. Remember you got to keep everything clear around you because the stuff is going to fall. So we'll fire this up right quick. It'll run nice. Just like that. And we'll try the aluminum first. See how that works. See how it just blows it away. You don't want to do nothing. Just goes away. Well, that doesn't look good, does it? We'll try the stainless steel. Zero for two, huh? Then we'll try the mild steel. Seems to cut a little better. Let's go like this. Then you watch where it drops. Well, let's try the plasma now. Now with the plasma, you don't need the oxygen settling, obviously. So there's a cost that you don't have to worry about. And then all you need is just compressed air. And then you just check your, your uh, PSI, your pounds per square inch, and your voltage. And we'll see what this likes to cut. One. Two. 
that's all three. So you can see that the, the oxygen is settling. Doesn't like to cut the aluminum or the stainless. But it'll, it'll cut your mild steel for you. Now the plasma cutter is another story. It'll go this, that, and the other. And uh, for being as light and as small as it is, it's the way I'm going. Well, there you go. The plasma will cut all three where the oxygen is settling won't. And uh, about the same amount of slag. It just depends on your amperage and, uh, and the, the airflow. But uh, other than that, I'd be going with the longevity. And uh, I'm Rob, and I'll see you next time.